What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And today we're going to be showing you how you can make your car louder with a click of a button. And if you guys stay to the end of the video, I will be giving showing giving you guys details on my very first giveaway. So stay tuned guys. All right guys, so like if you didn't need to make this car any louder, if you wanted to, there are a couple things you can do to make a car louder. That is of course exhaust, headers, uh, axle backs, things like that. You can remove cats and do all that good stuff. But if you want to drive the car and not have drone and be able to enjoy it, you sometimes want to quiet down the volume. So you can't have the best of both worlds basically. So what do you do? You use cutouts. That's right, exhaust cutouts, which are used to help dump exhaust out before any type of axle backs. Um, now there's a couple different versions or ways that you can use cutouts. One is electric motors, um, and those have been around for a little while, um, and they tend to not be as reliable because you do have electric drive motors under the vehicle with the weather and all that and the exhaust um, contaminants inside the can also uh, make the motors burn out and stuff like that so um, although most people will like them when they first install them because they work great and do all that good stuff they don't tend to last as long so what's your option there's there's a new type of cutout that's been coming out and i don't know how long it's been in serve in, in the industry but it's called a vacuum or boost activated cutout. And basically what it does is it uses either a boost reference or a vacuum reference to open and close the cutout. So essentially if you have a boosted car like this one, you could have your long tube headers running through your midsection and then into some stock axle back similar to what I have on the G8. But what you can do for very high horsepower applications or to just get some more noise is run a boost activated cutout. And the way that you run it is you have your cutout. Um, in this case, I actually used to run some cutouts. Uh, I ran, let me get around here. I ran cutouts that were electric. And you can see, I'm not sure if you can see, but I got them capped off right now um, because electric cutouts, like I mentioned earlier, just crap out and don't really work for too long so I ended up removing them and just capping them off but with boost act reference or boost actuated cutouts the car would have another line tapped off the your boost reference and ran to the back and into these boost valves in, in, on the cutout and as the car builds boost um, typically you can range between two, three, four, five pounds of boost. That cutout starts opening. So under full throttle and anything over, let's say, three or four pounds of boost, five pounds of boost, that cutout is wide open and you're bypassing the stock restrictive exhaust and that going with just straight flow, straight flow um, through the dump and causing the car to get much, much louder. Now that's all good and great, but I mean, I don't know that I would feel personally comfortable running one of my boost reference lines from all the way under the car. Um, there's all kinds of heat, debris, things that can cut it, and then now you have a vacuum leak and cause all kinds of issues that way. So one thing, as I was searching around, um, I found one company that does that. It's called Loud Valves. Makes a, a, a product like this, but they sell it for $150 and they're super expensive and for obviously like you guys saw down under my car you need two of them at least in my application on the g8 so i went looking for a cheaper alternative and i went to a website called aliexpress and there i ended up finding that there's kits in china and it they sell you a complete kit and when I say complete, I'm talking complete. And let me show you guys what I mean. So here, here it is, guys. 
this has already been kind of laid out. I've taken it out, and of course, I've only taken one kit, out, one part out, but it comes with two of these. So, this kit is a vacuum actuated cutout, and so this kit comes with, of course, your flange, which is for a three-inch pipe, a three-inch flange pipe. It comes with a turn down with the V-band clamp already welded. It comes with your actual cutout here, which I'll go into a little bit more detail. Um, it comes with a tee-off line for the because you have and some hardware zip ties to tie off because you do have two of them. Comes with gaskets, your bolts to bolt it up. V-band clamps themselves. You got two, one for each side. You've got your vacuum lines. You got two sets of very heavy-duty, thick vacuum lines, and you've got this cigarette power lighter adapter and this electric vacuum pump, guys. And here it comes, and it comes with this nice remote, which will do open and close. Uh, looks like it probably needs batteries, uh, but this is what it comes with so. now when i bought this kit i bought this one specifically because i saw this diamond uh, flange on the cutout and like you guys saw my, my car already had a somewhat diamond shaped flanges attached to it so my hope was i would remove these cover plates off and Then this flange, I would remove the cover plates off, and this flange would bolt right into the existing flange, the, the existing flanges. Unfortunately, that's not the case. I did go ahead and test it earlier, and these flanges are different. It's a little larger. Um, they bolt up perfectly to this one here, um, but they will not bolt up to they bolt up perfectly here, but they will not bolt up to the existing ones on the car. Now, that's a bummer. I really, really, I really wanted to do the install on these. And because I'm trying to sell the car and I'm, this car is going to be going away, I didn't think it was even worth trying to go to the shop, get this welded and do all that. Now, of course, I want to go ahead and test this, so I'm going to because luckily it comes with just a cigarette lighter so i'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and actually show you guys the operation of this all right guys got the key so let's go ahead and put that forward we've got power there which is perfect so power's going here so now let's go ahead and hit this open button and hope this works <laughs> that is so cool you can hear it running uh, and it looks like it runs for a little while and then it just holds and this thing is open it's got vacuum on this line and this isn't going anywhere now let's go ahead and close it and <laughs> so when you close it it literally just releases the vacuum so try that one more time you can hear the pump running and you can see it opening it runs for a little bit longer looks like a few seconds but then it stops and you can hear it it's not running anymore and your vacuum and your cutout is open and then as soon as you hit the close button it literally will just release the vacuum and there you go that is so cool guys <laughs> That is awesome. I, that is really, really cool. I wish they had this stuff when I first got my first cutouts because I would have definitely bought this. I really wish I, I would have been able to put this on this car. Definitely, maybe g going in any future cars because it is so easy and from what I can tell, be a lot more reliable, that's for sure. So there you have it, guys. 
this is a really really good solution to all those electric motor cutouts and all the problems that people have with those all right guys so as you guys can see this is a really really cool kit and should eliminate any issues with electric motors and things like that you do have the uh, electric vacuum pump but uh, since this is actually inside the car, usually in your trunk probably, um, it's not going to be out in the weathering and stuff like that. So there probably isn't much to worry about in terms of this failing. And if it does, they do actually sell replacements for this on AliExpress or AliExpress. Now, I'm really bummed out that I wasn't able to install it on the car. I wish I would have. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Today I was going to show you guys how to make your car louder at a click of a button and also tell you guys about my very first giveaway. Now I've done the showing you guys how to make your car louder so now it's time to go on to the giveaway and if you haven't already guessed it by now, that is right, we are going to be giving away this full dual kit here with everything um i'll even include the the battery that doesn't come with it that you needed so you won't have to worry about replacing the battery but yes this is going to be the very first giveaway guys now to be eligible for this you will have to like my subscribe to my channel like this video and comment down below when you've done that also i have both the, I've put the links to my Facebook profile. While you're gonna, ha well, you'll have to go and like, follow me there, like me, and share my Facebook profile as well. So once you've done, subscribe to my channel. You've liked the video. You've gone to my Facebook page, liked that, and shared my Facebook page. You can go down into the comment section and comment that you've done all these things, and you will be entered into the drawing for this first giveaway now you guys have until you have one week guys so you have until march 29th that is next friday to do all these things and share 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 with your friends um the more the, the better I, I would love to have a bunch of people signed up and subscribe so that I, we're almost at 300 now so i would love if all 300 of you would do all these things and are would be entered that just be awesome we're growing slowly but surely I uh, remember we start, I had less than 100 subscribers a few months back and now we're almost at 300 so to give you guys thanks for sh showing the support for me early on I'm gonna be giving this kit away and hopefully you guys will be able to use it in your cars um, I'd love to see a video or something of how you guys have it installed in your cars so with that being said guys please like comment subscribe not only because of the giveaway, but also because of the content. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you did, again, hit that like button, comment down below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.